The biggest question on Leonardo is why did you not finish a lot of your stuff? Let's talk about that. Yeah, and um, whether it was the treatises, he was re writing about 15 treatises on anatomy, flying machines, etc., or his paintings, Adoration of the Magi, St. Jerome in the Wilderness. He, the concept, he nails it, and then he disappears. That was the most encouraging thing about the book, right. that, that you could be a... You know, a genius and not finish things. Yeah. And so I just wondered if, you know, if not finishing things is a sign of genius. I hope so. And I have lessons from Leonardo at the end. I don't want to spoil them all, but one of them is procrastinate. And I say, you know, we don't actually need to learn from Leonardo because we can do it naturally, right. procrastinate. But he had a particular way of procrastinating in which he kept gathering more things and letting it ferment. I do think that there's something good about the fact that he screwed up, didn't finish, didn't deliver. Uh, two things good about it. One is he was such a perfectionist, he doesn't give it up. Take St. Jerome in the Wilderness. It's one of his early paintings. He carries it with him his whole life. He starts like in 1480, and he gets the neck muscles wrong. But in 1508, he dissects a human body and has all the neck muscles, and he redoes the painting. Likewise, the Mona Lisa starts in 1503 for some silk merchant. It's his silk merchant's wife. You know, 14 years later, Leonardo's on his deathbed still trying to get the smile exactly right. So it's like he was obsessed with not letting go.